Alright, where are we Bevan? Uh, here we are today at uh, Sing Sing Studio, but it's important to note this is in fact Sing Sing South in, uh, in South Yarra. Yarra, South Yarra, South Yarra. Melbourne. This is uh, the, the smaller studio, but nonetheless uh, an excellent studio. So uh, why don't we head inside and see what's going on? Let's do it, Evan. Anyway, we may as well start with a, uh, with a tour of the, the recording studio itself. So let's head in here. <laughs> Here's Davin, <laughs> the main man. And uh, the first thing you'll notice if you look around is that this is a, a good looking setup. That's primarily because we're involved. <laughs> so, um, and we're good looking. <laughs> and, and, and we're good looking, this is correct. So first of all, we'll move over here to the most important, the most important part of the setup. Uh, over here, really right? The, uh, oh, over here. Oh. This is really the control hub of the entire setup. Forget about that, forget about the record. Uh, have you got enough mics? I don't think so. But here we have actually my Glockenspiel with three microphones. Uh, this this here controls the temperature of the sun. <laughs> I, don't, I don't use it terribly much, um, but nonetheless. What heat are we on at the moment? Right now we're on PVC O21 heat. That's which is warm. It's warm. I'll give you that. I wouldn't want to turn it up too much more than that. Okay. If we come over here, you'll notice the absence of Brent Cusack, but this is where he would normally sit. Do you want me to, you want me to talk? Everyone. Talk? And this is his rig, which, um, from what I can tell. Actually affects the distance between the center of the universe and the known boundary. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I think here he is to give you a, a quick tour. That's um, that's easier. That's all it, all you got to do is just turn this one here. And the universe, as you know it, is expanding and shrinking right now. You'd have to be careful with such a powerful unit, wouldn't you, Chewie? Oh, I just, I just have some fun, you know. Yeah, you've got to enjoy yourself. You just love messing with people. It's not that big. Messing with the universe. Mm. Brett Cusack, anyway, okay. messing with the universe. Do you have this is an interesting little um, setup that we've uh, arranged. There's a, you'll see we have a grand piano here. Baby uh, grand, grand kind of just, just And we've locked the pedal down, enough. so all of these strings will resonate if not, if at not any given frequency. Um, so sure as we play... Wow, that's very cool. It's quite incredible actually. So as we play, you should get extra resonance, like a small reverb unit. So um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this sounds in the mix, actually. I'm excited. Over here, we have two slightly less important members of the band, but <laughs> nonetheless, nonetheless, they join us on the right. Um, Who's this guy? I'm glad the cut of the important members of the band. Firstly, we have Adrian Alamick, and uh, he's playing what appears to be an oversized guitar. But, um, <laughs> but may maybe he can tell you more about that, Adrian. Um, it actually is an oversized guitar that um, I stole. Yeah, right. From an oversized person. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, Steve. <laughs> yeah, mate. I fucking I was working in the roadworks back in Somerville Road there, there next to where. Mr. Clancy lives in uh, yeah, you've started yeah, them all. some guy kind of just came around and he was strumming. Oh, there's a ruckus there. It was very loud and I said, <laughs> fuck you, I'm taking this hey, Can you Could you play us an E major chord on that guitar? Yeah. No, there you go. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. It's not the E major I was expecting, but suck out. Oh. Thank you. All right, where are we up to? Finally, no, not finally, but second. Uh, what's what's the word for before the final? Penultimate. Pen, the penultimate. Here we go. A penultimate, penultimate member of the band is Mr. Peter Clancy, otherwise known as Steve Smith. Say hi, Steve. Hey guys, how are you going? <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, as you can see, he's uh, forgot to restring his guitar last night, so unfortunately, he's doing it right now as we speak. Well. You know, one of the things that I've learned about music and about jazz in particular that you really need to make sure that you're prepared for all situations, you know? Like, I've got this guitar here that I bought in a pawn shop and I'm not talking about Club X either, you know? Found it for 60 bucks, but this one here is my backup guitar, so, you know? If I need any spare guitar, say I break a string or need a different sound, you know? I'd really like to go for, you know, another guitar. Fair enough. Well, I can do this later, Dad. What else have we got? Anyway, finally, we have um, possibly the hub 
of our van. I know I said that this was the hub, but possibly the hub. Mm. And uh, what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to take the camera, okay. actually let the man himself explain to you exactly what's going on. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we have Jared Brentnell. Hi, <laughs> Hi, thanks, Bevan. What about this one? Thanks for the kind words. Hey, no, Dad, no do you want me to do this later if we want to get started? Um, Alright. Cool. Oh, yeah. Just to yeah, keep it works. quick and simple. Kick. We've got this African shaker made out of seed pods. And it's awfully shaky. Yeah. And a bit of guitar. Mm -hmm. Play any major chord. Hey. And can you make an uh, appropriate face to sum up that chord, please? That's beautiful. Right. Anyway, so uh, this is this is the Sing Sing um, this is the Sing Sing uh, recording center. But we have one more important room that I'd like to show you. So perhaps Jared, if you could just lead the way, and uh, we'll, we'll follow in. <laughs> Did we meet Davin? We did meet Davin. I'm not sure. Have we yeah, met yeah, Davin properly? I think we did. Oh, we can meet him in the control room. Okay. That's the lamp. <coughs> Very important. Anyway, here we here we go. This is uh, this is quite a special this room. Where, this one. Where, this is where the magic happens. The other half of the magic happens. Control room. Monitor. This is a control desk. All mixing desk. Tell us what's going on here in the uh, the control desk. Um, looks like we've got sampler, although we're not using sampler. That's an interesting choice then, I guess. Yeah, keys. So that's all you by the look of it. Your one, two, three mics. Pay attention to the fact that there are four mics dedicated to <laughs> me. Then we've got bass, that's for age. Uh, a couple of room mics, I think, which are in that back. We didn't look at that room. Back in the acoustic, sort of wood, more reflective room. And we've got kick. Um, hats or percussion, another room mic. Um, we've got two mics by the look of it for QE, two for Pete, another room. So lots of room mics. We're going to be getting lots of ambient sort of, yeah, collective room sounds, which is pretty exciting. Can you tell us what's going on here, Joe? Well, here we've got Thomas the Tank Engine, everyone's favourite as a child. Absolutely. Um, do you know who, who the voice of Thomas the Tank Engine was? Ringo Starr? Ringo Starr, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. Um, we've got some Hot Wheels. I'm not sure what that is. Let's have a look, Han. If anyone can identify that car, then uh, please let us know. Send it into jarak.com. <laughs> well, don't send it there because it will go nowhere. <laughs> uh, Duffman. Oh, Duffman. Duffman Bobblehead. Fantastic. Duffman, we've got Buzz. Some more Hot Wheels, and another tank. Who's that? I'm not actually familiar with the purple tank engine. I couldn't couldn't tell you the name of it. Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, oh, the tank engine. Fantastic. Um, so hey, that's hey. the control room. But there is uh, one final piece, and arguably the most important piece of technology in the uh, the entire recording process today. I can only assume you're talking about the, the reel to reel. I am, in fact, talking about the reel to reel. Very exciting. We're recording the tape on this occasion. So this is it. This is our tape recorder. And what a beauty it is. Yeah, so I can't wait to hear. I mean, the final result of the tape. Does this number of analog dials not get anyone excited? Again, if you're not excited by this number of analog dials, please send in to jarek.com. <laughs> so that's about it, I think, Bev. Fantastic. Uh, we'll wrap this one up, and I think we'll uh, rejoin the action later on when the recording is underway. Over and out.